ओके सो टुडे विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रेशर स्केलर ग्राफ एंड इंस्पिरेटिव प्रॉस थ्रू ए केस बेसिकली ए वेंटिलेटर हैज फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ ग्राफ्स थ्री आर ग्राफ्स थ्री आर स्केलर्स एंड टू आर लुक्स सो स्केलर्स मीन्स यू हैव प्लॉटेड दोज ग्राफ्स अक्रॉस द टाइम सो दे वी हैव प्रेशर टाइम स्केलर वी हैव वॉल्यूम टाइम स्केलर वी हैव फ्लो टाइम स्केलर एंड टू लुक्स मीन्स यू कंपेयर टू वेरियबल्स सो प्रेशर वॉल्यूम एंड फ्लो वॉल्यूम I have made two lectures. I have taken in the ICU one or two years back. We have recorded and uploaded. Uh, I'll post the link in the description. But there is a, a Hindi language in between, so some of the global audience wants a complete new lecture. So I'm making a complete detailed lecture on mechanical ventilation. It's it's uh, will contain some more information also. Hopefully, we'll release it in November. So, but by the time we get uh, an opportunity to discuss this pressure time scaler. so before jumping on to the case i want to explain you what is the pressure time scaler means what the ventilator is sensing what the ventilator is measuring in this pressure time scaler so understand that the pressure starts from the ventilator itself the tubings the tubing which is which are connecting the ventilator to the endotracheal tube then the endotracheal tube then you have trachea then you have bronchus then you have bronchioles this thing and you have parenchyma means alveoli so endotracheal tube this tubing endotracheal tube trachea bronchus and bronchioles contribute to the airway resistance means the ventilator has to blow the air into the ventilator and this contributes to the airway resistance while the parenchyma parenchyma alveoli which are there in the lung they contributes to the which you call is alveolar pressure or plateau pressure so but the ventilator what the senses is the total pressure right from ventilator tubing to the alveoli or outside the alveoli also if there is a pleural effusion pneumothorax it senses the whole pressure so the whole pressure which you see on the uh, ventilator is peak inspiratory pressure or p peak means what is the what is the sum of all those pressures means what how much level did the pressure reached uh, combining the airway resistance and the uh, alveolar pressure now the disease pathology is affecting the airway and the parenchyma difference suppose you have a narrow endotracheal tube the patient is having bronchoconstriction the patient is having secretion there is a foreign body there or uh, you can say uh, there is a mucus plug so this these will increase the airway resistance so the in total peak pressure the airway resistance will increase and the treatment differs now if you have a parenchymal pathology suppose you have an ild suppose the patient is having pneumonia suppose the patient is having pulmonary edema or pneumothorax pleural effusion because they are compressing the alveoli so they are contributing to the increase alveolar pressure plateau pressures so the ventilator have a, a mechanism to show us whether the increase in total pressure is due to airway resistance or due to the parenchymal or, or outside the parenchymal etiology what this helps is you your treatment uh, differs your uh, your management it take, helps you in taking uh, management steps in those particular patient or tells you what is going on to the pressure so we'll understand these things by uh, our case just understand that how you can differentiate is you press the inspiratory pause on the ventilator so when you press the inspiratory pause on the ventilator what happens is the breath the ventilator holds the breath for 2 3 seconds so what does the what it does is the flow of air from ventilator to the the patient stops for particular second so the in between in the tubings in the endotracheal tube or the airways there is no gas flow so it neutralizes so what remains is only your alveolar pressure which you called is a plateau pressure so you you get what the value you are getting on the ventilator is the plateau pressure so if your peak, total pressure is increasing peak pressures by putting the inspiratory pause you get to know whether the increase in pressure was due to airway resistance or due to plateau pressure so we'll understand this through our case let's go to the case and first see what happens okay so this is the pressure time scaler now you can see the pressure is on the y axis and time is on the x axis now what you are seeing here is peep 
on most ventilator it is a peep of 5 6 4 5 6 so this is also you are putting is positive and expiratory pressure which is at the parenchyma level so it is at the bottom so peep a peep is there that's why it's not starting from here it's starting somewhere here so it is 5 now this pressure rises to a maximum point which is called a peak inspiratory pressure so this value which you can trace is whatever written is here and it is displayed on the ventilator so what what you see is the total pressure peak inspiratory pressure means the pressure combining your airway resistance your alveolar pressures and peak this is a total now when you do an inspiratory process the pressure drops the flow drops and what remains is only the plateau pressure or the alveolar pressure which you call as the p plat and inspiratory alveolar pressure and what is above this plateau pressure is this is the airway resistance got it so this is the total pressure when you do inspiratory process it drops and gets a plateau and this is your alveolar pressures so by comparing these pressures you can understand what is going on the pressure suppose you have a patient in which the airway resistance is moved so when you do an inspiratory pause this pre plateau pressures will come somewhere here and this airway resistance will increase so you know that my increase in the total pressure was due to airway resistance and not due to alveolar pressure if the plateau pressure uh, is high that means the problem is not in the airway resistance it is in the alveolar level so let's see so we had a patient uh, middle aged man somewhere around 55 or 60 uh, multiple comorbidities having chest pain and all sorts of dyspnea for 7 8 days so it was an mi and which lead to cardiac failure you can see that it was an outside scan done you, this these are pleural effusions okay this is bad wing appearance and this is also fluid so expected you are expecting rise in the plateau pressure in this case but it because there is it's a parenchymal etiology pleural fusion is compressing the alveoli and uh, uh, this uh, fluid is accumulating in the alveoli so plateau pressure is increasing so it will cause increase in the total pressure but um, alveolar pressure will be contributing more so this patient came in our emergency and patient collapsed and then we did a cpr and we ventilated the patient so let's see what was the total pressure and how much was the uh, uh, alveolar pressure in this let's see okay mm, you see here uh, let me go back you can see the p peak is 47 47 is high normally somewhere around 20 22 is fine so definitely the pressures are high very much high this is the pressure time scalar this one is the flow but we'll concentrate our pressure so this is a pressure time scalar and the total pressure is 47 now we want to know out of this 47 which is more airway resistance is more or parenchyma etiology is all so what we'll do is we'll we'll press the inspiratory pause button on the ventilator and then we'll see oh, what uh, what the pressure shows so we we have pressed the inspiratory pause you can see that there is a pause in the inspiration 47 42 okay so what you have seen this 47 is the peak and 42 is the plateau pressure you can see p plat is 42 so out of 47 42 is the plateau pressure means it is coming from the parenchyma because of pleural effusion because of the lung parenchyma uh, uh, pulmonary edema but what our experience tells us is uh, and uh, that in pulmonary edema in uh, parenchyma etiology also in cardiac failure plateau pressure doesn't go this much high until unless the patient is in having ARDS also this 42 consent 8 of peep got it so we had a suspicion though we adjust the ventilator settings but the plateau pressures were remaining persistently high and but what happened is our resident who was on the duty dr zhu he identified that there is a, uh, there is a lit, uh, decreased chest movements on the right side of the chest and he uh, auscultated and find that the patient may be developing pneumothorax 
we it, we can expect that either this barotrauma caused uh, pneumothorax or the patient uh, went into 30 minutes of cpr there could be a pneumothorax so it's possible so immediately what he did is did an x-ray so we found that the patient is having large tension pneumothorax so what this tension pneumothorax will do it is compressing the uh, lung means alveoli are getting compressed not the airway so already the patient is having pleural effusion already the patient is having pulmonary edema above that the patient has developed pneumothorax that's why the pressures were very high so what we did this we did a needle thoracostomy immediately and then icd insertion for followed by insertion and then we'll see what happens to uh, the pressures we're not expecting them to come to normal but we'll we are expecting that the pneumothorax component is will go down and the peak pressure will reduce and plateau pressures will also reduce let's see so this is the post id insertion let's see so fun thing you see that peak pressures had dropped down to 32 here they were 47 and here they were 32 so patient um, get got benefited now to check whether uh, this drop is due to elevator pressure or airway pressure will uh, give in an inspiratory pause. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so, we have given the inspiratory pause and, and okay. So, we have given the pause and 24 is the plateau pressures and 32 is the peak so definitely 32 minus 24 uh, 8 so 8 is the airway resistance which is not high here also 47 minus 42 5 so airway resistance is not very high what is still there is the plateau pressures so plateau pressures have decreased because we have relieved the pneumothorax but this way we are able to identify what is causing this rise in peak inspiratory pressure so um, uh, this way uh, we can use the pressure scalar graph and the inspiratory pause button to identify what is causing the total rise in the pressure whether it's an airway resistance problem or whether it's a parenchymal or plateau pressure problem if you want uh, you are comfortable with hindi in between english sort of thing you can go in the description and check both the videos one is on the basics of mechanical ventilation and the other one is the um, ventilator waveforms ventilator waveform is completely in english but if you are not comfortable with hindi in november we are making a detailed lecture from the scratch on whole ventilator so stay tuned on this channel will bring that also but this is this was very interesting uh, so that's why we want to share you so you learn today is is how to uh, use pressure scalar and inspiratory pause to identify what is happening in the patients uh, what is happening with the peak inspiratory pressures thank you